Hey guys, this is Nick from Apex Mutations. I just wanted to share with you guys a little something. So we had our first clutch here. This was a leopard het pied to a blackhead pastel possible het pied male. And so far it looks like we got six pearly whites as far as I can count, but let's find out. So what I did do was uh, I built two incubators. I got one over here and then I have one over here, both out of Coleman coolers instead of the typical refrigerators that people do. I really wanted to test out two different ways. So this one's filled with water and I have fish tank heater inside of it to really... So in here we use two fish tank heaters for this cooler to heat it up to 89 there's no like tenth of a degree setting so it's kind of like you gotta twerk with it here and there over a couple weeks to try and figure it out so i got it dialed in to 94 or not 94 89.4 is what it's at inside the tubs and then in this one i went a little overboard on the water bottles just for contingency but this one i built a traditional uh heat tape on the bottom water bottles to kind of hold temperature and everything like that. This one will only hold two, that one will hold 10. I'm gonna go ahead and use this incubator. Whenever I open it, you know, you get that temp drop and everything. Um, this one shoots right back up. So it'll keep the temps nice and stable. It goes right back to temperature after about two or three minutes, even if I leave it open for 10 minutes and then I shut it temperature shoots right back up just because the water heaters in there are constantly pushing the heat up. Uh, so yeah, that's where the first clutch is going to go. All right, so this is what our tubs look like. I'm gonna go ahead and zero up the scale with the tub on it. See, I'm at zero. So I'm gonna to try to get this girl here off. Yep, she's looking pretty empty here all the way through. Nice. I'm gonna go ahead and put her up first. This is not her typical tub. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and put her for now. Until I get that one cleaned out. She will go in. There we go. All right, so scale zeroed out. So we got six good eggs, one, two, three, four, five, six, zero slugs, first time virgin mom that I raised up. Perfect, I'm pretty happy. All right, let's get them on the scale. Oh, they are extremely soft. Holy cow. They weigh 697 grams. All right. Can I touch one, babe? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. That's so cool. Oh, they're soft. Now she was just laying them. I caught her about an hour, well, probably about two hours ago, pushing out the sixth one. And uh, so they're, they're gonna be pretty soft still to harden up. I could probably separate them. All right, so went ahead and candled uh, the first three and two of them are already upside down. Or the veins are upside down, so I do have to separate the eggs. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get started on that. Let's put the, the tub back in her spot. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that out too later tonight. Uh, Got to deep clean and get the smell of the eggs off and try to get her back on food by next week. All right, we'll get them separated real quick.
So with that, since they are fairly new, they're separating very easily. I'm just really nervous. <laughs> Got it, babe. There you go. One down. them I did have to separate a few of them these two are are actually perfect how they are so I left those two together no need to separate if you don't have to uh, I was just making sure within each egg little air bubble is up top because that's where the embryo actually is and we need that on the top so a few of them to keep them from rolling around went ahead and did some q-tips I'm just gonna put some press and seal on them and put the lid on it. I'll check on it about halfway through. Just to allow some gas exchange. We should be set. ahead and made the uh, clutch date or the clutch card and it turns out they actually hatch on my birthday <laughs> supposedly so june 17th it's my birthday yeah i know i'm special that is when i'll have my first clutch mm -hmm. hopefully I'll go ahead and pop it back in the incubator This is a little sensor that I use to monitor the humidity in the tubs and the temperature and everything throughout the whole day. Uh, this is from something called Gove. I know some people use Sensor Push, which is a pretty good one, but I started off with Gove, so I'm gonna stick with it. What are you doing, Nick? So I'm working on the, the tub the tub number instead because the way that I have this incubator built I can't put a clutch card on top of it unless it's laminated or anything and I'm not that fancy so I'm using index cards if I were to put them with my uh, tub then they would just dissolve into mush because of the high humidity so instead on the tub I wrote tub one and up here clutch one but I only expect to have three clutches at most until fall. So even if I didn't do it, I would easily know who's, who's who. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, now that the eggs are put away, well now I'm gonna get the mom's weight to see what she is with her empty weight. I'm gonna go ahead and put the press seal over here, zero up my scale. I'll give me just a second, grab her out. This is my leopard het pie girl. This to a blackhead pastel, possible het pie. She is gorgeous, super pretty. Man, it's crazy how skinny they get. Okay, so let's see if I can get her to get in that tub. She is not having that again. Okay, so empty, she is 1,567 grams. Not bad. Is she at a good weight for just having eggs? I mean, she's she should be fine. The, the whole thing is really just getting them back on food to start uh, eating again. They got to get a little more fat back on them. Like if you look... Her body is just super, super skinny. You can pull the skin away. 
And uh, so you're definitely not gonna be breeding her right off the bat, even though she's technically at weight for standard, but is she really? No, she's just long and has the, the body maturity. So. So when would you feed her again? Um, some people have success feeding the same day after they clean the tub. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the tub tonight and I'll try to feed her probably by next Friday just to get her back on the schedule. So that's when we'll go ahead and attempt it. All right, any other questions? Nope, you can put her away now. Thanks. All right. So after I got uh, mom bear off her clutch of eggs, uh, you really want to get that scent off of the tubs. Like I explained earlier, it gets them back to eating again. And that's, that's the main goal is you want them to get their weight back. To do that, I took her out. I went ahead and moved her in an empty tub. I use chlorhexidine and I also use F10. So first I go over it with chlorhexidine and uh, it's a medical grade thing that we use to clean hospitals and whatnot, and wounds. So I use that to clean up this, and then I go back over it with the F10. And uh, I even clean underneath the spot that's open to the tub. So the very, the, what do you call it? The top unit, I guess, top of the shelf. I went ahead and cleaned and descent it also, just to get that out, and then, yeah. Good to go. Alright, so now that the tub's all clean, hers is. Let her go back home.